I feel like I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting something. something. Shoot. Shoot! How could How I be could so, I be forgetful? so forgetful? We've been planning this lunch for days. Dearie, you've got to start watching where you're going. You might have almost ruined my dress. I am so sorry, Miss Rosalind. Please forgive me and please don't tell my parents. They would literally kill me. Oh, all right. But I don't want to get in trouble with the king or queen. So just this once. And don't you have somewhere you have to be? Oh, right, that's where I was heading. Thank you very much. Uh, nice seeing you. Dog, bless that girl. It's Liana. I need to go into the name. Liana. Well, Princess Liana, but I need to get in there right now. Not surprising. The king and queen are waiting for you. Lower the bridge. Right away. Charles, get the other side. The rope has been released. You may enter. Thank you very much. Pull! Mother, father, I am terribly sorry for being late. Please excuse me. Oh, brother. Liana, this is the seventh meeting you've ran late to. How can you expect me not to be mad? Father, I'm, I'm so sorry. I promise this won't happen again. Sounds familiar. That's what you said last time. If you're not ready to take on more duties, there's no point in you being here. Now get off to your room. Richard, don't you think we should give her a little more time? Yeah, I was just in the royal gardens. Since it's spring, all the new flowers and trees have blossomed and it's beautiful. I don't want to hear it. Now go to your room and maybe think more like Meredith. She's been on time every single meeting. Wait! Meredith, come back. We haven't discussed your opportunities. Uh, yes, father. Don't you think you're a little harsh? She's just a child. You can't just expect so much of her. She didn't have to rule the kingdom like you did at her age. I know, it's just how am I supposed to know what's going to happen? And what if something happens to us and it all leads down to her? If she can't show up to a simple meeting, how is she supposed to run a kingdom? Richard, you worry too much. Now, let's give her a little bit of space. Oh, and Meredith, we were going to talk about your futures of the kingdom. As the eldest, you are the rightful heir to the throne, so we hand you down that title. Which means you start your studies soon. That sounds wonderful, but I need to go check on Liana. I don't want her to be upset. Of course. And give our apologies to her. I will, and we can discuss this further later on. Good day. Oh, what a great queen she's going to be. Anyways... I just came here to talk to you. Is it because you're the perfect child? What are you talking about? Ah, <sighs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Meredith's the favorite. Meredith's perfect. Be more like Meredith. Meredith, Meredith, Meredith! I didn't realize you felt this way, and I didn't come here to fight. What did you come here for? To tell me I'm worse than I already know I am? Or did mother and father tell you that I'm a disappointment and you should tell me that? 
I already know, so you may as well leave. I'm always in your shadow and they just absolutely hate me. So if you came here to tell me that, just leave. You know that's not true. They do not hate you. Can you just leave already? Ugh. Just so you know, it's not easy for me either. It's hard having to live up to everyone's expectations all the time. But you're too selfish to notice that and think about anyone else's feelings apart from yourself. So let's just make this all about you. And we're having dinner soon, so get changed. I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> May as well get up and get dressed like she asked me to. Princess Perfect. <coughs> eh, good enough. Looks good enough. Uh, what's what's going on? Uh -huh. Excuse me, coming through. Matthew, send your troops down to the base. Steven, send your troops down to the front. We've got to get on top of this now. On it, sire. Everyone follow me, we've got a battle to win. Liana, what are you doing here? I thought you were in the basement with your mother. Go down there right now. Father, what about Meredith? And what's going on? There's no time to explain. Dale, hire the bridge. I'll meet you down with the troops. Father, will everything be okay? I told you to go down to the basement. Now go. Of course. The princess is still out there. We need to go save her. On it. And you need to come down to the basement. Follow me. I'm not coming with you. If Meredith's still out there, I must go save her. I am not selfish like she said. I need to go protect her. Uh, what are we gonna do? You heard her. There's nothing we can do now. We need to go form with the troops. We've got weapons and we're not afraid to use them. Oh, I'm not afraid of that. Ugh. Man down! Lower the bridge! I'm not afraid of you. Really? This is all just a game for me, you realize. <sighs> so weak. How do you even call yourself soldiers? Lucky lost, I see. You hurt my friends. I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone else. Oh please, this is what the last 500 said. Ugh. Now we're getting somewhere. what I miss? Do we still have eyes on him? No, not anymore. He just vanished. I repeat, he just vanished. Maybe he just returned back to where he came from. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Wait, what? Meredith! I've got you now. <laughs> You're not getting away with this. Oh, I'm going to win this battle. And you're the first to go. No! Meredith!
happened here? Where am I? What the world? She's awake! <sighs> Are you alright? We came as soon as we could. Is she alright? I'm not sure. Ask her yourself. Who are you and where am I? I was just... I, I, what's going on? Shh, calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. And to answer your question, you're at the medicine center. We found you unconscious at the old castle. What were you doing there anyways? Everyone knows that that's out of bounds. It's not an old castle, I was just there and... Where's Meredith? Is she okay? Uh, who's Meredith? My sister, you know, the princess? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You could be in serious trouble if anyone knew you're in the castle ruins. Castle ruins? Uh, what do you mean by that? She was unconscious. Maybe she's hallucinating or having a bit of memory loss. Oh, yeah, we forgot to mention, you had a bit of a concussion, so you might be a little bit delusional for the next few days. Delusional? You think I'm crazy? I'm telling the truth. You're the ones who are crazy. I don't even know what's even going on. Maybe we should leave her to rest for a bit and calm down and we can check on you a bit later. And we'll need to ask you a few more questions so we know what happens so we can put it on file. I can't believe you think I'm crazy. But I do feel quite tired so I might rest for a little bit. Finally she quieted down. Let's go check up on the other patients. Good idea. was such a good sleep. <laughs> good morning, I see you slept well. Yeah, I haven't slept so well in years. That's good to hear. Now, I brought you some breakfast. I hope you like apples and bone. It sounds wonderful. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Now, here you go. Mmm, so good. Oh, I forgot to ask you, is there any parent or guardian, sibling, anything like that to come visit or pick you up? Because we believe your health is perfectly back to normal and you're ready to go home. Oh, that's good. I'm still not really sure what happened anyways. Just can't remember. That is expected with concussion, but just be a bit careful when you're walking around for the next few days. Yeah, sure thing. And to answer your question, yeah, there is someone who could pick me up, like one of the maids. But my parents are probably busy to arrange that, so... So I could just walk from here, I guess. How far is your house exactly? It might be a bit too far for you to walk in your current state. You're only just allowed to go back home. I'll manage when more castle isn't too far away from here. On about this nonsense again, are we? The castle is destroyed and the royal family are gone after the attack of Canary. Oh, wh what are you talking about? They have to be out there. They have to be. Calm down. The battle was ten years ago. It shouldn't be new news to you. 
It is one of the side effects to be a bit delusional, so maybe I should just give you more space and you're not ready to go home yet. How can they be gone? I thought I protected Meredith. This is all my fault. If only I could have stopped Canary in time. I am not lying. I am not lying to you. Maybe you should just get back into bed. I probably got casted on sort of spell by Canary, I'm not sure. But why can you not understand that I'm not lying? I'm telling the truth. And if you don't believe me, I'm just gonna leave. Wait. What is it? Since we don't have enough rooms in this hospital, you have to come home with me because you've got nowhere else to go. Okay then. You can get changed into your clothes, they're just on the rack over there, and I'll come back and we can go to my house. But this is only temporary, as I don't really want you here because you're just stubborn. The hospital reckons it's a good idea, because you have nowhere else to go. And since I'm struggling to get on top of everything, including paying for my house, so they're going to pay me extra for this. So this is giving me and you a favour. And you can't go on about that princess mumbo jumbo to my family. They'll think I'm crazy bringing home some lunatic. Excuse me? Anyways, I'll be back in 10 minutes and I expect you to be ready. Okay then. <sighs> Let's hope Let's this isn't a mess. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. So, here's my house. It's kind of small if you ask me. Wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> you should be grateful you're even getting a house. Now, come on! Someone woke up on the wrong side of bed today. What was that? Nothing, I'm coming. Took you long enough. You can take a seat while I go get Thomas and Corinne. Oh, thank you. Quite cozy. You guys can take a seat also. Okay then. So this is... wait, I never picked up on your name. Liana. Princess Liana. Hmm. Going on about this princess stuff again, are you? Oh, I'm sorry for telling the truth. <laughs> Anyways, Liana here was staying at the hospital, but we ran out of rooms, so she's going to be staying with us because she has nowhere else to go. Where will I be staying exactly? Oh, you'll be staying in Corinne's room. She can also lend you some clothes and things. What? Excuse me for a moment, will you? Mother, maybe talk for a second. 
excuse me as well. Do you think you're crazy? Would you mind explaining which aspect? <sighs> you're bringing a complete stranger into the house. Do you not think this could be dangerous? Darling, she had nowhere else to go. What else was I supposed to do? Kick her on the streets? I don't know. Anything would be better than sharing a room with some crazy person. <sighs> Look, the main reason I did this is because we can barely afford our house, and this will really help us. Oh, I had no idea. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. You're just a bit tired or something. There's just got to be some other way than bringing some homeless person into our house. It's not like I want this either. I'll just tell her to be in the lounge. You can keep your room. Thank you, but I'm still keeping my space. <sighs> it looks like there's going to be a change of plans. You're going to be staying in the lounge if that's okay with you. Yeah, anything's okay. You're nice enough to even offer me to stay with you. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Now make yourself at home. I'll go get some blankets and pillows. Maybe, Maybe things, things won't be, won't so, be bad so bad after, after all. all. Have a good sleep. I'll see you in the morning. so late. Oh, I didn't realize you were awake. Uh, you should just get some sleep. It, it is late. <laughs> uh, okay then? Who are you anyways? Uh, oh, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's not that I don't like you, it's just this situation's kind of... strange. Like, I have no idea who you are, and you're just in my house. Good night, Corinne. <sighs> Do I Do tell I her who I am, or will she just think I'm some snobby princess, and it'll rule my chance of actually, actually being okay, okay with my new life around here? here. Or what if or she if does she believe, believe me? me. Oh, I don't know. Wait, my name's Leah. It's nice to meet you, Leah. My name's Corinne, but you probably already knew that. Uh, good, good night. <laughs> What did I do? Time to get ready for the day. Let's just open this. Uh huh, a book. Yeah, it'll, it'll do. do. And, and I'll need I'll this. Need this. Now I'm all set to go. Going where, may I ask? <sighs> and what are you doing up so early? Uh, it's hard to explain. Is that my bow you're wearing? Take it off now, it's mine. You've already taken over my house. Is that not enough for you? 
oh, I just had no clean clothes to wear and I didn't know what else to wear and I saw this bow and thought it looked alright. Okay, you have a solid point, but that doesn't explain why you're up so early. Oh, the reason I'm up so early is because I wanted to get some food for breakfast. We have a fresh garden outside that we've been harvesting for ages. Why don't just get something from that? Me and my sister used to have this competition over who would get the best berries for breakfast and who was the quickest. And whoever won got bragging rights for life. As well as the loser having to make the winner breakfast. Come on please, it'll be so much fun. Okay, fine then. I just feel bad for you, okay? So now for ground rules. So we have three minutes to find fresh berries and run back home, and the last one has to make breakfast for the winner. Got it? Yeah, but I feel sorry for you because I'm gonna win. Not if I get a head start! Amateur. She forgot, she forgot her, her basket. basket. Where to start? A bush over there. Let's go. Hmm. Aha, Aha she has a bush already. I, I can just follow, follow along. along. Found a good bush, did you? Hey, you have my basket. Well, it's your fault. You left it behind. There's no good berries here anyway, so I'm going to make a run for it. Hey, come back here. What do we, what do have, we have here? here? Yeah. <sighs> Nothing. Wait, Wait a, second. a second. Apples? Apple? This'll, This'll have, have to, to do. do. I'm gonna beat her. <laughs> Good luck, Corinne. How has she oh, already she found, found something? something. Ugh, I've got to find I've something, something quickly. quickly. <sighs> look! Look! I found something! I finally, finally found something. Wait, what are you eating? You took so long and I got really hungry, so I decided just to make myself some apple soup. And that's a rock. What? No, it was like some sort of potato. I saw it because I was so hungry and I was so excited I finally found food. Just look at it. Delicious. Uh, still a rock. Oh, I've got no good food to eat now. You can have some of my apple soup. I did make a lot. Thanks so much. I've got to admit, that's really good. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Was it nice having a sister to do fun things like this with? Leah? gonna go take a walk outside. I'll be back later. Ugh. Just when Just I thought when Leah was, was my friend, friend I mess, mess it up. It, up. it doesn't it matter doesn't anyways matter when she finds out what I've been what actually, actually doing. doing. Where's Liana gone? I thought she would be back by now. I guess I've got to go find her. She probably, she probably hates, hates me, anyways, me anyways, so why so should why I even bother? bother? Liana! Liana! 
Liana? Liana? Uh, my head. Oh, mother, are you alright? I am so terribly sorry. Oh dear, I'm alright. But more importantly, is everything okay with you? You sounded like you're on a wild goose chase. Oh, I was just trying to find Liana. I thought she said her name was Leah. Uh, oh, um, that's what I meant, my good old pal Leah. Anyways, strange. Like I was saying, I have a question before I go and find Leah. What is your question? What actually happened to Leah's family? Oh, that's, um, not my place to say anything. If she hasn't told you yet, that obviously means she doesn't want you to know, and I shouldn't be the one to change that. Come on, mother, please tell me. Okay, but you promise not to tell anyone. Would I break a promise? I honestly have no idea, but I only have a little bit of a hunch. So you can't trust my word on this. Okay, okay, just tell me. Something to do with the Battle of Canary, I believe, but it could be the amnesia talking, so I honestly have no clue if that's true or false. And please don't tell her I said that, because I should not be giving away personal information like that. Yeah, yeah, I know, but we have something even bigger to worry about. If that's true, that means Liana's in danger. Uh, what's going on? There's no time to explain. Wait! Ah, <sighs> teenagers these days. These roses are simply divine. What's my bow doing here? Liana! Wait, how do you know my name? I didn't tell you or anything. That's beside the point, what are you doing? I'm packing, I never should have came here, and you probably think I'm crazy. And yeah, my name's Liana, I'm Princess Liana, who cares? I'm leaving. Please don't go. No one wants me here. Please, I want you to stay. For once in a very long time, I've felt like I've had a friend and a true connection with someone, and I don't want that to be lost. Just because I messed up again. Well, I have a secret. Uh, what is it? The reason I freaked out earlier was, well, I'm a princess. And I know I sound crazy, but please hear me out. I lived in the castle of Windmore. It was wonderful. Bragging much? Well, I used to live in a castle. That was before the Battle of Canary, and I recently got informed that it's destroyed along with my family. I know it's not an excuse for getting mad at you, but it's the first time I heard about them since I woke up here. And to make it any better, the last words I heard from them was that I was selfish, and I just feel so guilty. I need to make it up to them somehow, but I have no idea because they're gone. But that got me thinking, if I woke up, what if they did too? They could still be out there! I can apologize to my sister. Oh, what am I saying? It's too good to be true. And I'm just annoying you, I know. I know I sound crazy. Is everything alright out here? Everything's fine, just leave us to it. What are you doing? Just trust me on this. Can you please give us some space? We just want to talk for a bit. Okay then. You were there when I needed a friend, and I think you need me now. Uh, what are you saying? 
What I'm saying is, I'm going to help you find your family. Uh, how are we gonna do that, and why do you want to help me? After all, I am just a stranger you just met. It's what friends do. They help each other out. Thank you so much. It's... it's okay. Meet me out here tomorrow, and only pack the essentials. Okay, what time? Come out here at dusk. I'll be waiting. Come on, where is she? She can't be that far off. Boo! Ah, don't scare me like that. Sorry. Hey, what took you so long? I've been waiting out here for ages. Well, one of us forgot to pack things, so I had to pack for both of us. Oh, right. My bad. <laughs> Let's get a move on, I guess. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Agreed. <laughs> So, what's your plan? Well, there was this hideout me and my sister used to always go to, and she could possibly be there because I always went there when I couldn't find her, and she was always there. So I've got a good feeling about this. I see. We should pick up the pace before my mother realizes we're gone, because if she realized we escaped, she would be mad. Yeah, I would imagine how she would react because she doesn't believe me about any of this. Yeah, anyways, let's continue. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you for being really nice and understanding of me. I know it's really hard to just let someone into your life that you don't know, but I just wanted to thank you. You've been really nice and I really appreciate it. You shouldn't thank me, really. Uh, uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Is it because I might have ruined everything at the start? I'm really sorry about that. Because when I heard you and your mum arguing, I didn't realise you heard that. Since you've trusted me so much, I guess I should trust you some more. Starting with why I don't trust people that much. You know you don't owe me anything. I really just want you to be okay. No, no, it's really okay. It all started when I first had a friend called Rowan. We were inseparable. We used to always hang out. I felt like I could trust him. But that all changed when one day I went down to the meadows, as we did every morning, to see each other, but he wasn't there. And I was so worried about him, and I didn't know what was going on, and it made me just feel really upset about the situation. But a few days passed, and I finally found out what actually happened. He got accepted into night school, and I didn't even know he wanted to be a knight. He didn't tell me anything. It was like I didn't know him, and he was keeping something from me for a reason. And since I knew him for years, and he meant everything to me, and I just completely lost connection with him, and I just hadn't seen him since. And 
that's when I decided I would just stick to myself because that's what I know best and that way I can't be hurt again. Oh Corinne, I am so sorry this happened to you. You don't deserve any of it and now that I'm here I promise I'll never leave your side. I promise. You really mean it? Of course I do. I would never break my word. That really means a lot to me. Honestly. Anyways, that was enough drama to last me a while. We should continue going. We have a long journey ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you, Leona. <gasps> Are you alright, Corinne? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, I, I'm fine. I, I just need to stop for a break. I'm gonna go to the lake to get some water. Yeah, water. And I'll be back in a second. Uh, yeah. Wait, let me come with you. I don't want you to be alone or anything. Trust me, Liana, you worry too much. I'll be fine. You stay there. I'll, I'll be okay. Just leave, leave me alone. Um, what do you think you're doing here? Uh, my job. Why does that concern you, miss? I talked to your boss. I thought we had an agreement going. Yeah, we do. I see you've brought her, so I may as well take her off your paws now. Don't mind me being nosy, but what's going on? Ah! <sighs> Uh, nothing's happening. I thought we agreed that you were going to stay over there. I was going to come over here. I am so confused. Hi, I'm here to escort you. What now? Leave my friend alone. What do you think you're doing? I thought we discussed this in the deal. Corinne, run. Uh, okay. Now I'm dealing with you. You think you're so smart with your secret cover. Now, I am going to use my powers against you. Honestly, you've got this all wrong. I have no idea what is going on. Corinne will pay for what she did to betray my leader. I must go report to him right now. I think it's safe to come out now. Ugh, I thought it was going to take him all day to get up. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's getting a bit late. <sighs> I agree. Yeah, I'm a bit tired too. Maybe we should camp out here for the night? Yeah, sure. Let's just make sure none of those creepy guards come out again. That was strange. <sighs> yeah, strange. You're finally awake. I just came back from my stroll. It's quite the forest down there. Maybe we should come back here sometime. Well, after we find my sister, that is. How are you always up so early? It's crazy. Anyways, you've probably been waiting for me to wake up for a while, so we should start heading off, I guess? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Wait, where did your basket go? Liana, you worry too much. It's just behind that bush over there. I didn't want any of our food to get damaged or anything. I'll go get it. 
You really worried me there for a second. Don't do that again. Here the basket is. Now, are we going or not? You seem pretty determined to go, so yeah, let's go now. Right behind you. So, are we almost there? From my memory, yeah, we should be. Just up here. Come on. Coming. Here we are. Uh, before we go in, I just wanted to say something. What is it? Can it wait till afterwards? Because this journey's been so long and we're finally here. That's the thing. We should just be prepared for anything. This might not be even the right house. Trust me, I've got a good feeling about this. Now, come on, let's go! Okay. On three. One, two, three! three. Ugh, nothing was in there. Sorry, Liana. I had a good feeling about it too, but... It was just abandoned. But hey, we had a good time on this journey, right? Yeah, I guess so. But I was really hoping to find my sister. We can always look somewhere else. There's so many places around here. There's no point. She would only be here. So we shouldn't waste time. Let's go back. Excuse me, what are you doing on my property? Oh, I'm so sorry. We were just gonna leave. I'm really sorry. We were just trying to find my sister, but I guess she's not here. Wait a second. Meredith? Liana! It's been far too long. It sure has been. How's everything been, I guess? Complicated. A few days ago, I all of a sudden woke up. It was so strange. Everything was unfamiliar. And then I kind of fainted after that. <laughs> Are you okay? Is there anything I can get you? <laughs> You're far too protective. I haven't finished my story yet. And then I woke up in some sort of medicine center. And when they asked me who I was, everyone thought I was crazy because no one believed me that I was Liana. Oh, I've probably got an explanation for that, but continue. Anyways, well, they all thought I was crazy, like you should have seen their faces. But one of the nurses was really nice, and she took me home to her house because there wasn't enough rooms for me to stay. And her daughter is that awesome person over there. Uh, hi, I'm Corinne. It wouldn't have been possible to be here without her. She helped me with the whole journey here. And now that you're here, we can finally go back home. Uh, about that, I've got some explaining for myself to do. When Canary came and declared battle on our castle, and decided to aim his powers all at me, and then you jumped in front of me and took a bullet for me. Thank you so much for that. But... Besides the point, I've been learning a new spell about protection, and I thought I could save you because I didn't want you to get hurt at all. So I used that spell on you, and it kind of backfired since I hadn't really finished learning it. But I thought I got it covered, but I obviously need to learn more about that. The side effects, I guess, were that you didn't wake up for a while. And I'm really sorry about that. I've been so worried about you. Because I've just been so lonely. Because, well, mother and father didn't make it. Canary was too strong. But hey, we've got each other now. I promise I won't leave your side. You promise? Of course! What are sisters for? And are you sure no one's watching us or around us? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I don't think at least, though. Well, here goes nothing. We should probably huddle up for this. Okay. 
Over the past few months, I've been researching around this area, as it's a bit unfamiliar since Kinyiri destroyed it. And I've spotted some guards around here, ones vaguely familiar. I soon then realised that they were Kinyiri's workers, and he could potentially still be out there. What? Are we in danger? Potentially, but I'm not too sure. His base isn't too far from here, but I've been too worried to go on my own because I'm nothing compared to him, especially on my own at least. But now that you two are here, we might actually have a chance to reclaim what is ours. Win more. We can't get ahead of ourselves. There'll be hours of planning, but I'm sure we'll figure out something. And we've got so much to catch up on, as well as getting to know each other. Maybe tomorrow's the day to start this adventure, but I'm knackered. Same here. Let's just rest in the tent, I guess. Yeah, come on inside and we'll start the journey tomorrow. Coming! Oh, I've missed you, Meredith. Don't forget your basket! I see you've made an early start. Oh, uh, hi. I haven't really got to introduce myself to you. I'm Meredith, as you know. But I just really wanted to thank you for bringing my sister back to me. Oh, uh, it's really no problem. I just thought it was the right thing to do. join in the huddle. What are we talking about? Uh, nothing really. Also, would you guys like to start planning the mission? The quicker we start, the faster it's done. Uh, yeah, sure. First off, we need to find the base, and who even runs it? Oh, yeah, of course. The base is just around 10 minutes from here, and I'm not too sure who the ruler is. He never really leaves. Uh, what do you mean by that? Let's just say he has minions for a reason. To do everything for him. That might make it harder to find him, but I guess we can make some sort of distraction to make him come out of where he is hiding? That's a great idea, but how are we even going to know what they're doing? We can interrogate them, and if they don't answer our questions, easily use our powers. Or we could always just threaten to use them, because I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> We want to make sure we have all the minions out the way, before we manage getting the ruler. Do we have any ideas of where to put them? Like some sort of dungeon? We could bring them back here for now, and one of us could stay behind and watch them. Uh, the tent's a bit... unstable. It is pretty old. We could search around the base for some sort of dungeon. I think we've got a plan. Everyone understand it? Uh, yeah? Kind of. Yeah, let's go. How is the castle even still here? Everyone was telling me that it was gone. How could this happened? I went to teleport to where the guards were, and this was the last location. It's rather odd if you ask me. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Then you should see how it was before it got destroyed. I think I hear someone. Hide! You stay here. Me and Liana will follow him. It's far too dangerous and you aren't familiar with the castle grounds. It's best if we just go. It's a bit unfair if I've travelled all this way and I just have to be the guinea pig. I promise we'll be just a few minutes. We're only getting some information. 
Okay, fine then. Go. I'll wait here. Just don't take too long. Just don't take too long. It's really prickly over here. Excuse me, may I ask who you are? And are you here to see our master? We're here to see what's going on. Now tell us. Who are you working for and what's going on? That is classified information. Then take us to your master himself. We've got a job to do. I'm afraid I can't do that. We've got powers and we're not afraid to use them. You look oddly familiar. Am I forgetting something? No, now we're using our powers. Meredith, show them. Uh, uh. We should have done that in the first place. Would have been much quicker. And what was he talking about? Familiar? Let's just say it wasn't the first time I used my powers on him. Wait, what? We've got a town to save, come on! You're unbelievable. The door's open, let's go in. Coming! It looks exactly the same. One of the thrones is gone. Something weird is going on here. I have to ask you to leave. Our master has requested for his throne room to be unattended while he is out. Now, you must leave. Alien? Is that you? Is that you? And you! You're another one of our gods! I agree. Something really weird is going on here. Don't worry. I've got this. Tell us what is going on here. Who is your boss? And what are your plans? That is classified information. Ugh, they all say the same things. It's like they're programmed. Wait a second. What if they are? Whoever their boss is, it must be pretty powerful. And if they're programmed, there'll be some way to unprogram them, right? Yeah, there must be. Now, tell us what is going on. If they aren't responding to verbal messages, maybe we have to use more of our powers against them. Try your false ball. It works every time. Okay then, it's worth a try. Now stand back. Uh, what's going on here? Baron says, Meredith, what are you doing here? Finally, you responded! And why are you working for some weird master who isn't even here? What are you up to? I'm actually not too sure. I don't remember anything. And my head hurts. That's weird. Maybe something's going on bigger than we can deal with. We should just give up. Master, I think I found the lost princesses. Come immediately. Did I just hear something? It sounded like it was coming over there, but... Must have been nothing. No, I'm getting chills. We've got enough information, don't we? Let's go. Oh, you won't be going anywhere. Boss, we must act now. Anyways, you should feel betrayed. Someone very close to you have given us secret intel that has led us very much ahead. I would watch out who you're trusting, if they're gonna throw you under the bus like that. Uh, what are you talking about? Don't sound so scared. I've got no power compared to who you're about to talk to. <laughs> I'm talking about that girl you left outside. The one who brought you right into a trap. <laughs> For being princesses, you guys aren't very smart. Corinne! How could I have been so blind? She was betraying us, and I thought I could trust her. Oh, what did I do? It isn't your fault, Liana. You couldn't have done any better. You're just a nice person who trusts people. And I guess I don't. Are you trying to say you could have done better? No, I'm just saying you're a nice person who trusts people. Ugh, 
What have we got ourselves into? Now the princesses are arguing. Hmm. Joyful. Been waiting for this moment for years. And it's finally come. This'll be fun. My boss should be here in any minute. Why can't I just be the ruler? I would always be on time. Hmm. What was that? Let's go. Hey, get back here. You won't get away with this. Oh, but I already have. You innocent little being. I tricked you into leading them right to me. So really, this is all thanks to you. <laughs> too bad you're too gullible. <laughs> now, where are they? They should be here at any minute. <laughs> Where's that sound coming from? I think I know. Follow me. Coming. How nice of you to finally join us. <laughs> Let Corinne go. Didn't you hear the news? She betrayed you. This whole time. She didn't want to be your friend. All she wanted was the money. Reveal yourself. I know who you are. The only person I know who would do something so cruel is Canary. Ugh, fine. No one knows me as Canary here. So call me the Dark Master. The Dark Master. How creative. Oh, it's been too long. You guys are finally in my presence. Like I was saying. I thought you vanished! Oh darling, I can never be defeated. Like I was telling your friend here, nothing can stop me. You didn't see any signs the whole time that Corinne was working for Canary. I can't believe you did this. Ugh. Please, let me explain. I promise I was just doing the right thing. Oh, how this fulfills me. Guards, come tie them up. <sighs> Meredith! Last man standing. How do you feel? You're in the presence of the most powerful ruler in Winmore. That is not you. You're a monster. You will never be a ruler of Winmore. Winmore needs someone who protects them and not to disclude anyone. Like my brother. When I was younger, I didn't have any parents. I was alone on the streets. Well, that was until a boy my age found me and asked me if I wanted to play with him. At first I was concerned. I didn't know this person and he was being so kind. But I did decide ending up to play with him. One day the king found out about me and he said he wanted to adopt me. Because I had no family and... As you know, royal family being all kind. And then we became brothers, and I was finally a part of a family. I thought this was good, until, for the rest of my life, I grew up in the shadow of my brother. No one ever saw us the same. He was the charming prince, and I was the horse from the streets. I then confronted my brother about how I was feeling, but he just said I was jealous, which made me mad. And then I turned into my new form, Canary, and I used my magic to weaken him. And then my brother betrayed me and called the guards to lock me up. And now, I'm glad to say I got revenge. Don't you remember? When I knocked down this castle and then rebuilt it as my own. And my brother is no longer here to stop me. <laughs> so I'm related to you? You're my uncle? You can change. You don't have to be sad or feel left out. You're no longer alone. You have me. You have all of us. But you choose to hurt them. And tie them up. Please. We can all be friends. 
and work together and bring harmony to Winmore. Oh please, save your sap story for later, why don't you? Join me! You'll no longer be in the shadow of Meredith, and you can have more power than ever imagined. If not, I'll lock you up in the dungeon. I'll never be like you, because I have my friends who show empathy, trust, and kindness. And, hey, they're not perfect, we all make mistakes, but I choose to forgive them, because that's the right thing to do, and I'll no longer let you take over Winmore like you have been. Now, surrender, and let my friends go. What are you doing? Why aren't my guards coming to stop you? Because you're evil and do wrong things, like brainwash us and terrorize Winmore. It's our time to reclaim what we once had, which means helping others and defeating you. I'm so sorry. I'm free! Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? Because I feel so horrible for how I treated you. I promise I can explain. Tell me later. We've got a villain to stop. And it's time to defeat you. No, this is impossible. All my plan was thought out. How could this ever happen? Because we want happiness. And we have friends who stick by our sides. No, no, this is impossible. What are you doing? That's bitter. Now I should probably explain myself. When you first arrived, Liana, people were asking around if we knew of any princesses. But then I remembered my mother telling me that there was some girl who believed she was a princess staying with us. The reward was very high to get princesses to this person named Canary I had never heard of. I see you got my letter. How long will it take to get the payment? Oh, we can discuss that later. But now, you said you've found the princesses? Uh, only one, Liana. Bring her to me, but make sure she doesn't know who I am. You have been dismissed, and make sure none of the guards see you. Oh, ah, uh, okay, I'll see you soon, I guess. Oh, and one thing. Uh, what is it? Don't say I didn't warn you about what you're doing. What's, What's that, that supposed, supposed to, mean? to mean? I should be on my way. I thought I was doing the right thing because it meant saving my house and protecting my family, but I didn't realize we were going to become best friends and that you'd actually be my friend. I then agreed to find you guys and deliver them to him, but I had no idea how evil he was or, or what I was doing. And this was all before I even got a chance to talk to you or meet you. And I feel so bad. I am so sorry. Because all you've done for me is be nice and be kind and I've just been a horrible person. I'm really sorry guys. I understand if you won't forgive me. Are you kidding? You helped us defeat our arch enemy. Something that we've dreamed of. You helped me reunite with my sister. Without you, I don't think I'd ever see her again. There is nothing to be sorry for. We all make mistakes, and we know you had good intentions. If anyone should feel bad, it should be me, because I didn't give you enough chances. When I heard you betrayed us, I assumed you were just a bad person, but I didn't know you had good intentions. I've got quite a bit to learn from my sister, Liana. She's very kind and trusting. <laughs> and that there's always two sides to a story. We shouldn't just believe what we hear. And that there's also an explanation for everything. Group hug anyone? Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to apologize for how we treated you earlier on. We were under a mind controlling spell by Canary to think that he's the rightful ruler and he's doing good. It we if we had known what was actually going on, we would have helped you, and we're deeply sorry that it took so long to do so. But since Canary is gone, we don't have a ruler anymore. And we believe that Meredith's the rightful heir to the throne. 
Oh, uh, no, I really couldn't. What are you doing? This is what you've always wanted. If there's anything I learned today, it's that I'm always growing and learning as a person. And I am far from ready to take on the responsibility to be a queen, let alone rule a village. But if we do it together, we'll be more than ready. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What are you doing? We both have so many good strengths to offer the village. And together, side by side, we can make everyone happy. That actually sounds like a great idea. I hereby announce the new rulers of Winmore Castle are Meredith and Liana. This will be so much fun. What's going on? This will be so much fun. She's going to be so happy. 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 The castle looks so cool. I'm so Let's go restore the castle and decorate all the rooms. That sounds great, but we've got to say goodbye to our friends. I hope you understand. We'll only be a few moments. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys so much, but I've gotta get home. I've already been away too long. And my mother's probably worried sick. We understand, but know that you've always got a room here. Thank you so much for being such a great friend. I'm gonna miss you so much. This whole journey and mission has been the most fun I've ever had. I'll go get one of the guards to escort you home. Jeremy, could you please take Corinne home? On it. Well, I guess this is goodbye. I promise, I'll return shortly. But for now, goodbye. Is that all done, your majesty? Please, call me Meredith. In June, it looks absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure, uh, Meredith. Should we clear away this moss, princess? After the princesses wished their friend goodbye, they started fixing up the castle and enjoyed ruling together. They then lived happily ever after.